Hey y'all, it's Brittany Akudo and I'm back again with the purple robe. Listen, when you see that purple robe, just know that I'm here to bring some custom made heat. So let's get this video started. So I made some cute dresses that I use on Cara Fabric and no long intro here. Let's just get straight into it, girl. Y'all, this first dress, mm, mm -mm -mm. I, I have no words. I'm honestly speechless at this dress that I made. In fact, you know what? Let's just watch. Let's just look at her because I truly have no words. The dress is speaking for herself. Let's just watch and let her do the talking. I love this look. It's literally a merge of cultures. To me, it's a merge of African culture and Chinese culture. And I love the addition of the chopsticks and the hair. Like I just, I don't know what made me pull that out of the woodworks, but I was like, yes to the chopsticks. This is just gonna bring the whole look together. I feel like I'm very much giving Chun-Li from Street Fighters, but make her black. <laughs> That's what it's giving in my opinion, but I love it. So I actually wore this dress to a gala that I went to last year, and I'll put a pic of it here in a minute. And so here I am making a pattern for it. I took my measurements, cut it up, sewed it together, and then I tried it on. And so I'm trying it on to see exactly where I'm going to make those cuts and also to see how I can make this fit snug onto my body. And so I'm gonna be honest, it was a whole math equation to make this. Like I had to do a whole Pythagorean theorem. It was algebra, like look, 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 look. Here I am drawing that out to like make sure the cuts are correct. But it came out cute and this is how it came out for the gala. My personal opinion, it was cute, I look cute, but it was definitely giving two out of 10 energy. Like I, I know that I could have done so much more with the dress. I was in dress code, don't get me wrong. The dress code was show up, show out, and I did that, but I know I could have done so much more for me. So I'm glad I'm able to re-wear it here and re-wear it how I really wanna wear it. So I wish copyright was not an issue on here. So y'all can hear the songs that I'm actually jamming to and jam along with me because my playlist is fire. Okay. Like honestly, before Bluetooth was a thing, it was always, oh Brittany, can you plug your phone into the aux cord? Oh Brittany, can you be the DJ on this car ride? Oh Brittany, send me your playlist. Girl, they used to call me DJ B Stack Up back in the day, period. Just kidding, literally no one called me that. But my playlist was fire though. <laughs> I made this dress during my undergrad and I made it for my graduation party. And guys, I didn't realize how much weight I actually lost until I tried on this dress for this video. And this dress kept falling off. Like I was putting straight pins, holding it up, and it just was not working. I was getting poked. It was just a mess. But this is a dress, honestly, you can wear for like a maternity shoot. The hair, the dress, it's just giving a maternity shoot type of vibe. It's beautiful, I love it. If y'all peep the dates on the sketches that I draw compared to now that I'm actually showcasing them, you'll see that they're like a year or two behind. And honestly, that just goes to show that nothing happens overnight. Some things take time and some things are quick, but good things that last usually take time. And living in such a microwave culture, we just want things fast, 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 and just quick, quick, quick. But it's okay to have a steady pace. No rush. No one is chasing you. <laughs> so just, just submit your timeline to God and let him orchestrate the appropriate time for the appropriate events to happen in the appropriate season. He did not forget about you. 
He's just not in a rush. <laughs> but you are, sweetie. So just relax. Relax. Take it easy. Take it easy. Easy on yourself. Easy. You know what? This is kind of like another merge of culture. This is like African and Latin. It definitely has a little salsa dancing vibe to it. Wow, you know, I'm really loving this unintentional thing that I have going on in this video. I did not realize that these dresses kind of fuse cultures together. Girl, at this point, I was like, am I really up at 3 a.m. with a full face of makeup and posing and dancing for the camera at this time of the morning? Girl, uh, sure am. Absolutely am. <laughs> made this dress four whole years ago and it is still such a vibe see one thing i like is making things that are timeless like the red dress that you just seen i made that three years ago and it still hits the same but this one right here this is low-key a collector's item for real this was back when the the bell sleeve trend was popping and if you notice in the beginning of these clips, you'll see that I undid the frills. Like I tucked it in at first where it just looked like a dress with bell sleeves. And then I took out the frills and it gave it more just, um, I don't know, like just a more like party vibe. I don't know, like if you're going to an African party, I, it, I think the frills would more so come in handy, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, if I was to wear this out, I would definitely wear this to an African party. And if I wore it to an African party, I would make the frills come out and I would definitely wear it with the matching gala. The gala would be purple. And um, for those that don't know, a gala is a head tie or a head wrap worn by a woman in the Western African country of Nigeria. And it's almost kind of like a crown. So I would definitely sport that with this. So unfortunately, I don't have a sketch to pair with this. When I made this, I wasn't back to sketching yet. It it was maybe a year later that I got back to sketching. So I don't have a sketch for this, unfortunately, but yeah. So here I wasn't sure if this dress called for a ponytail or an all down type of look. So I was like, hey, let me just try both and see whichever one floats better. But um, yeah, I'm not sure which one looks better. They both look cute to me. I think what I would do is if I wore the frills at the end and the gala, I'd put my hair in a ponytail. But if I wore this dress with the, the frills tucked in, then I'd leave my hair all down. I think that's what I would probably do, I think. If you can tell, if you look closely in this clip, look at the sleeves. They're so big. You could, <laughs> I, this was definitely made four years ago because now I would definitely make some alterations to that. But again, this is the collector's item, so yeah. <laughs> not even gonna lie y'all i low-key feel like i've been talking y'all's head off this whole video and which is crazy because honestly i'm an introvert but i have extroverted quality sometimes so sometimes i just don't know how to shut up but a lot of times i'm more of a listener but i mean on my youtube channel 
oh, who am I gonna listen to but myself? So yeah, but I personally like this little instrumental that I put on this video and I know some of y'all probably do too. So I'm just gonna let this instrumental rock and just enjoy the rest of the video. Alright y'all, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking through it. Girl, I was tired, okay? But I hope you enjoyed this content that you didn't even know you needed. Stay tuned because in my next video, God willing, I'm going to show y'all a dress I made for a different gala that I attended. And let me tell you, I did not have time to finish that dress. So I literally wore a dress that was not even finished to a whole gala. But I think I made it work and it turned out cute to me, but I guess y'all can be the judge of that. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and be encouraged. Bye.